Hello everybody, good morning. How are we all doing? Welcome back to a little vlog and um, we're heading out of London today, which is quite exciting. We're going to Rye. Now I went to Rye, when was it? I think it was about four months ago now, maybe five months. I think it was like November time and Zara said that she really wanted to go and we found some time in our schedule to go and it's such a beautiful place. I think Zara's gonna really love it. And now it's spring. <laughs> I'm saying it now that spring feels like it's in the air. Well, let's have a look. The weather is currently, it's 12 degrees, it's just cloudy. So there's no rain, it's not, you know, single figure degree weather. So it feels like spring really is here. Cherry blossoms coming, magnolias popping up. Daffodils are popping up from the ground, all of the crocs and bulbs. It just feels like there is a shift in the weather. The mornings are lighter, the evenings are longer and lighter. It is everything I feel like we needed. After moving house, we didn't really feel like we had much of an autumn because we were just consumed with packing. And then when we moved, we were just slapping into winter. And I look back at those months, I don't know where that time went. We just blinked and it was Christmas. And then we blinked again and we were just in the bleak January months. And it felt like January lasted forever. February pretty much felt the same. So now we're in March and we're just enjoying the nice, thought that spring is very much near. So yeah, that's today's plan. We're gonna head to Rye. It's about an hour and a half from our house. It's not too far. I'm wearing a new t-shirt this morning. This is a very nice striped, lovely cotton t-shirt. It's from T.M. Lewin, who traditionally do like suits and more like smarter wear. They sent it over. They sent a little lookbook and said if there's anything you like, then um, you can choose it. So I picked out this t-shirt and uh, yeah, it's really nice. I'll leave a link down below if you want to Check out their stuff if there's any guys in your life or if you're a guy and you're watching this. It's very nice, fits me quite well. I went for a size medium. I like it a lot. Also, I've shaved my beard off, which is a bit weird. It's taken a lot to get used to, so sorry about that if you were a fan of the beard. But I am growing out my hair as well and I feel like I can't grow out my hair and have like a beard or like stubble. It just makes me look a bit unkept. <laughs> it's probably just all in my head, but um, yeah, I just shaved. I did a clean shave this morning, so I look about 12. But that's fine. I just look like I need a bit of sun, which is not untrue. <laughs> Let me know how you guys are doing, how, how are things where you are, wherever you're watching in the world. I had just got back from a work trip in Birmingham, weekend just gone. It was for the photography show, so it's Europe's biggest photography and camera exhibition and it happens every year in Birmingham and the NEC. I was going to vlog but I was actually really busy and it wouldn't have made for an interesting vlog because all I was doing is going back and forth between the NEC, which is like a huge arena, and a hotel. As so I was going backwards and forwards, um, I was doing live demonstrations, I'll leave some photos on screen, of um, cooking and styling using um, the Canon cameras. So I was there with Canon and it was just, honestly, it was such a full circle moment because I felt like a massive sense of privilege to be there and I met so many of you lovely viewers who came along and said hello and said that you've been watching for a while and my heart has never felt so full. It's so strange when you'll see a video has had, let's say, 20,000 views. I can't visualize 20,000 people, but when you're doing a demonstration in front of, I don't know, 25, 30 people, 40 people, you get a little bit nervous. So the thought that, you know, however many thousand people might watch this, it's just so lovely that I got a chance to say hello to people and give you guys a hug and um, so if you did come along and say hello, thank you, because it was very, very lovely and it kind of like spurred me on for the rest of the weekend. So yeah, it's just been super nice to just get back into the flow and the swing of things. I felt like I lost a bit of my confidence um, after the move and I just didn't really know like what direction I was going in and just doing something like that just really lights that fire back inside you to remind yourself why you're doing it and, and why you make videos online and it's just a huge privilege. So yeah, that was lovely. And I've been running lots. I did lots of training when I was away at the weekend in the hotel gym. I went for a 12 kilometer run this morning. I'm just really starting to up the intensity of the trainings. Marathon is scarily close now. Today is the 19th of March, so in two days, we're gonna be a month down, a month away. <laughs> I'm very nervous. The donations have been absolutely incredible, honestly. Every time I mention that, you know, someone donates like a dollar, two pounds, two dollars. It's just magic, it's absolutely magic. I feel very, very, very privileged you guys are incredible. Also, Zara planted my herbs. So these are the herbs that I picked up in Home Bargains. These, 
are a nice little growing set. So we've got mint, chives, parsley, thyme, and basil. Zara also started some um, sunflowers. Let me show you. They're growing really well because this kitchen is so bright. We've already planted some of them, but we've got some more just sprouting up here, which is really lovely. Look at them, look at them gone. Look at that. Where did you plant them? When? A week ago. Where are they? What did you say? Where? Also, please look, I've got two different shoes on my coat, just to give them for your opinion. <laughs> Love, Do which one? I think these black. Do you? Mm -hmm. And then I don't know whether to wear this on my leather jacket. No, I think this is really nice. I think wear those. Yeah. And then pack a dog walking coat. Yeah. What are you wearing? Oh, can I show you my pots? Yeah. They're in the garden. Oh my goodness, yeah. Oh, what are you wearing, Maggie? What are you wearing? <laughs> oh, also, we popped the plate on the wall. So we had a bit of a rejig. I do still need to paint over this. It's been like that for months. We just haven't gotten around to it. It's just been a bit hectic. But um, yeah, we popped the plate on the wall. How nice they look. We went for kind of like a non... Symmetric. Oh, my brain isn't working today, sorry. Uh, Non-symmetrical. Did you say, no, that's the pot I got? Yeah. Lovely. Uh, but the issue was, There's not enough I compost. don't know how to use a drill. A drill? I don't know how to use a drill. What do you need a drill for? Because these don't have drainage holes. Right. Do you hate them? I, I, um... You don't love them. Look how cute they are. They're very colourful. Ah. Okay. And I just thought... Love, absolutely. Like I, I, I thought, I knew you'd hate them. I actually said this to Brittany when we were shopping. I went, he's going to hate them. I'm going to buy them. Yeah. <laughs> Love that we're going for a nice little like terracotta, Mediterranean, Italian vibe. I'm 26, living my colourful life. This was also Zara's purchase as well. As you can tell, Zara loves colour. No, these are for Maggie. Because look, Maggie, come here. Do you like your little wheel? What's this? Ready? Yeah! So What's this? <laughs> These are absolutely thriving as well. Look how incredible they're looking. There's mixed opinions about whether or not we should plant these in the front garden um, because apparently they can block the light. But I think if we trim them and keep on top of them and maintenance wise, but they are absolutely thriving. Look at that. It's all looking so healthy out here and just very green. Makes me very happy. So we've made it to Rye and um, we're just going to sit and have a little bit of lunch in the car. Although. Do you want to eat it in the car or do you want to maybe find a little bench or should we just eat it here? As mine. I don't think I can wait. I mean, Ooh. I ran 12 kilometers this morning, I'm currently living on a hot crust bun. I read 12 pages of my book and that's just as impressive. You look really nice in blue. Thanks, so. Yeah. That was a really nice drive, wasn't it? It was quite scenic. Super I didn't chill. Drive. Well, the weather's still a little bit grey, but touch wood, no rain, which is, which is what we need. The eagle eyed, how are you, darling? Oh, we've got one. <laughs> oh, come on. I ironed my top first. And actually, I knew this was going to happen, but I let it go. Because I've said to Luke before, I think we, like, there's a subliminal message where you see things. Obviously, that's subliminal messaging. I mean, like, you saw me walk to my yeah. room with, with my black blue, and white yeah. striped top. Yeah. And about 10 minutes later, you went. Do you know what? I think I might wear my striped no, top today, and I was like this. It's because this was, this was waiting for me when I came back from Birmingham, and I thought, what a nice t-shirt. I'm going to pop it on. Well, we know what we can be striped. Kings and Queens. Zara did pack lunch. Right, I'm going to say something, right? So Zara, Zara's brother is, well, he's currently 13. But obviously, when you lived at home, he would have been, how old have Charlie been? Like six? Seven? I don't know. Seven, six? Seven years ago. Like a baby. Yeah. So like, I feel like you just gnaw pack lunches. Like you definitely would have done Charlie some pack lunches in your mm. time. Or did he do school meals? I don't remember. I just think I'd be a great like. That's what I mean. Like, like, let me just show you. This is actually brilliant. So we've got like party rings because they are elite. They are so good. We've got little strawberry fromage for a yogurt pouch. <laughs> Roast chicken crisp. Refrigerator little chickens. Oh look! Look who's packed up. Cocktail sausages. Sausage rolls. And sausage rolls. Miss Maggie. Chopped up cucumber and carrot. Carrot batons. And some blueberries and some grapes. Oh, hang on, because Miss Maggie have a blueberry. Oh, a blueberry. blueberry. There you go. Oh, Maggie's. At, these are actually Mary, Maggie's carrots too. I'm trying to get some hair there. Can I have some carrots? Or are they? Oh, were yeah, they... but the carrots for Maggie mainly. Oh, carrot for Magatha. She's, she's so good in the car, guys. Like literally, she just she just she gets a bit excited when we land. The fact we've been discussing the fact we think she might need the toilet and we're just pumping up with more yeah, food. It's fine, yeah. She does a little barky bark just because she's excited. Can you hear it? Guys, so Maggie's gained a bit of weight, right? 
I think she we've been... She hasn't gained that much weight. No, the start of the year was a lot for us, and we've both gone through a lot of stuff. I haven't really shared it online, and probably won't. We both can't really talk about what's gone on. Different events, different things. I hate when people do stuff like that. No, so do I, but we can't. We've just... We've, there's just been some things. Changes. Changes. Positive ones. Positive, negative, things that we've just had to learn to live with, and... um. Maggie has just been there throughout all of it, but I think we've just been like comfort feeding her. So, like whenever we've got a little bit of toast left over, we've been giving her some toast. Or um, what else have we been giving her? Loads of blueberries and carrots and cucumber. So she's got Treats. a bit. She's got a bit bulky, bless her. She's um. I took her to the vets and she went. She's twenty three. Twenty three point six. I was like, oh. Because she used to be twenty. I know, but then I just I fall for it because I'm like oh. Miss Maggie, the chicken is not for you. It's southern fried. No, no, Sarah. It's not southern fried. That one wasn't southern fried. That's slow roasted. Oh, okay, fine. She had some yesterday, too. Right, that's it. No more treats for you. Can you sit down, please? Excuse me. Your father is a spoiled sport. She's going to bark now. No, she's not. You had your first open sandwich last year, didn't you? Mm. Or the year before? I couldn't believe it. It was my niece's christening. And last year. Yeah, and um, let me know if you if you have these whenever you've got, like, birthdays or christenings or whatever. It's like a bread bun. Or you call it like a roll or a bap or wherever you're from, uh, halved, and then you essentially have the sandwich filling on both sides. So you'd have like egg mayonnaise or tuna or um, ham salad or whatever, but you'd have it open. So the idea is that the bread goes further. It's weird because in the south, we just think of a whole sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice concept, isn't it? It's a great concept, but actually, the way they do it, you end up, it must be more expensive. Because you go through yeah. more filling. No, I'm taking it. It's, it's to do with variety, so you can have... If you don't want a whole sandwich, you can have half of an egg and half of a tuna. Or you could do fact, ham salad. Saving. No, it's for variety. I'm good. I'm going to have these for now. So can you. I have these? Mm. Thanks. And you'll have your sandwich. Yeah. So, guys, this is just idle chit chat. We've just been having really lovely conversations. Driving to ride. Have we? Well, yeah. We were just saying about how much life is changing. and mm -hmm. It's all really positive. Spring is springing. Spring is springing. I think it is genuinely a big thing when your mood changes with the seasons. Anyway, I'm eating my sandwich. This just turned into a very long. Maggie, the sandwich isn't for you. <laughs> it's really funny. You're so greedy. Her breath is so strong. Oh, we you are can getting... tell when she wakes up in the car, yeah. you get gassed. We're getting hotboxed by our Labrador. <laughs> A lot warmer than last time I was here. <laughs> it's still quite like it's cool, but um, yeah, last time it was very, very breezy. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of remembering. I mean, it wasn't even that long ago since I was here, but I'm remembering the bits and bobs I saw. It's a really lovely, um, like antique shop on the corner called Puck Harbor. I didn't pop in last time, but it's this one here, and they've got some really beautiful pieces in and nice, like candles and things. And yeah, they've got nice little burning candles. That's sort of stunning as well. I love the print of that. How amazing are these urns here? Yeah, they're huge. And those are the types of radiators I love, like the column ones. Very nice. Such a beautiful store. This is rye chocolates, and they've got some Easter eggs in the window. These are pure handmade chocolate eggs made in rye. She does like salted caramel. Salted caramel chocolate Oh my goodness, that's in a little box. <gasps> How cute are these little salted caramel eggs? They are so lovely. All of the wrapping is amazing, and they're made locally as well. Dogs have the best memory. Maggie just knew it was almost like she was pulling us to go in, so this is Paws and Clothes Rye Pet Shop. And she is obsessed, straight in she goes. But this Rye Book Shop looks absolutely lovely. It's huge as well, it goes really quite far back. But yeah, we have so many books, so we're limiting ourselves. <laughs> Maggie, what say you? <laughs> do you think we should get a new, um, a new doormat? What do you think? <laughs> I think that's a great shot. This is such a cool shop. It's called Lola and Sydney. Wow. There was a really cool shop that we just saw back there and they didn't allow photos or videos, but they sold some amazing pieces. I just got an old style sugar and like tin. And I saw on an episode of Nigella at Christmas when she did her Amsterdam episode, if you watched it, she was sprinkling sugar from this like old tin um, from Italy. The shops in Rye are amazing. Like how gorgeous is this? It's like an outdoor, indoor um, shop. They've got some beautiful, beautiful homeware pieces. 
you are in the market and they've got some nice antique shops as well. Dog talking people tolerate it. I mean with glass and Maggie probably not. <laughs> Okay guys, we've just made a purchase for the home. Downstairs Lou pending from not for a couple of years, so we can put this away. Do you remember when we were moving and we got all of our stuff in France? We put it under Zara's bed and we were like, we're not unboxing it until we move. So we, it was months and months and we just didn't, it was almost like we'd gone home shopping, but we'd forgot about it all, hadn't we? So we've got this for a potentially like a downstairs Lou or upstairs. Yeah, upstairs or downstairs, but um, yeah, it's from St Pancras, it's a Pancras fixture. Um, Lou roll holder, how beautiful is that? I'm just having a little walk up towards the Rye Castle now, up this lovely street. It's one of the most famous streets in Rye because it's so picturesque. A lot of people come here based on this street. <laughs> and to be honest, it does actually look like this in person. It's not one of those. It is, this is cobbles. Come on, Max. Um, yeah, you know when you go places and it doesn't look how you imagined it, but this, this really does. It's so nice to come here in spring and see everything in bloom. Look at all of the tulips and daffodils. The ferns are growing as well. Oh my goodness. Guys, these houses are just honestly stunning. Okay, so we came to the place that I came before and um, when I was last in Rye and I got a cheese tossy last time, whereas this time I've gone for a fruit scone with clotted cream and we've got some, um, what was this, uh, this strawberry jam and Maggie's just sat chilling, there's another Labrador over in the corner and they said hello to each other and you, hello it's very, very tricky though because the tables are low <laughs> so Maggie thinks that this is for her oh mom, I would love a try of your nice, lovely scone <laughs> there we are Lovely scone with jam and clotted cream. That's a good scone. It's delicious. Go on, say it. Don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Spring has sprung. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Spring has sprung. Look at all this cherry blossom. Like cherry blossom season. The leaves are falling. They are. We left Rye, having a little walk through um, Moore Park, which is just in Maidstone, before we head back to London. Um, it's kind of on the route back, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's so, so spring-like. It's coming out, slowly but surely. Maggie, no, come on. Oh, God, here we go. Maggie's found water. No, Maggie. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. She's eating it as well. Maggie, no, no. 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 That'll do it. <laughs> Are we not the idiots for forgetting to tell? I think so. Because <laughs> she's a retriever and it's in her DNA. <laughs> it is such a beautiful lake here. It's absolutely stunning. Look at that. Oh, wow. Lovely day. Absolutely lovely day. And we're going to go back and have some dinner. And what did we just have ramen for dinner? I was really looking forward to quesadillas. We need some nice chilli quesadillas with some um, wedges and salad. You are such a stinker, Maggie. No, Get away. No, I do not want you. <laughs> well, this is the, now the fourth time Zara's been pooed on this year by birds. Don't get me wrong, I've actually had quite a lot of good luck. You've had a lot of good luck. But does it counteract each other? I've had so much good luck, actually. Bird poop. Oh my god, what day is it? What day is the lottery? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so we're back from Rye and walking around Mort Park and it just started to rain on the drive home, which is brilliant because we timed that perfectly. So I thought I'd show you the little pot that I got. How nice is that? So as I said, I saw it in a old Nigella. I think it was actually, she's had it in lots of episodes, but the one I saw it in was when she was in Amsterdam on the barge. And I just think that is so lovely. It's like a really old school style aluminium tin and I just love it. I'll see if I can actually find the segment of when it's in Nigella's videos, but I just love that. I think that looks so cool. Maybe that's quite wordy actually. Maybe we can move that down slightly. Let's have a look. We can move that up. Let's pop those balls up there because I quite like the colour of those. And let's do... Mm -hmm. Do you know we can have a play around with that? Maybe that can actually look quite nice next to the coffee machine. Maybe we can go there. 
Oh, that's fun. There, I think that'd be nice there with maybe some, perhaps some espresso pods in there. That's a great idea. And then in that same shop, I got this little glass jar. Well, it's more like a ramekin, but it's got gelato on it, which I think is going to be so cool for um, photo shoots for food. Obviously, when I was just styling at the weekend, showing people where I find props and stuff, it's mainly antique places. I think that is lovely. And then in another antiques shop, I got these two butter knives. These were three pounds each. So a little more expensive than you would anticipate, but they're really good for styling as well. So if you've got bread or things like that, I think these look really cool. Obviously, when you've got them near butter and things like that, they were made in, in Sheffield. And they've got a Royal Warrant as well. thought they were very cool. And then I showed you the little loo roll holder, which I think is absolutely brilliant. So this was from 1883 St Pancras Fixture, WBF and Son, London. How amazing is that? So we could definitely pop that when we get the bathroom done or keep it for a downstairs loo, which I think we're going to do. I'm swim towards a downstairs loo. So that's all we picked up in Rye. Oh, actually, Zara went in an old sweet shop and picked up some sweets. Now, I love these fizzy... Oh, no, they're, bl they're bonbons. Oh, here we are. Fizzy watermelons, if you've ever had these. They're just the best sweets ever, ever, ever. They're just sugary. Mmm. Amazing. I'm not usually a sweet kind of guy in the US candy. But since quitting alcohol or drastically reducing the alcohol that I drink to the point where I go weeks without it. My sugar levels I feel like I just constantly need sugar as my delivery come through from Pearl Frost. Now these are stunning. I think these are going to be absolutely beautiful. So we've had our house number arrive which I'm not going to show you because obviously it will reveal where we are but um, they are gorgeous. They're like gold foiled house numbers, I'll leave them on screen. And then I picked up two of these Victorian stained glass pieces that are going to go on our glass above the um, like dividing door between the library and the kitchen. So I think they're going to look absolutely stunning as well. They've got a beautiful piece of like, it's essentially to replicate glass and I think they are slightly see-through as well so the light will go through them, I think, but if not, we could maybe look to even cut out these parts here to make them more clear. But I think they might be see-through. I'm not entirely sure, but I've got two of those. And then I also got some internal door strips for the door. So we've got two glass pieces in our door. So I think I'm going to pop those on. It's going to look really nice. Once we paint the door, the quality is amazing. Obviously like vinyl, so you peel them at the corners and then adhere them with the tool, so they sent over this like squidgy tool, so you squidge them onto the glass. So yeah, it's very exciting that they've arrived. I'm actually super, super excited to paint the front door because white UPVC is, it has a place, but I think in a Victorian property, it's not really in keeping. And some people on this street have got really lovely doors. I'm very jealous, but doors are very expensive. So we're gonna replace it. Probably is one of the last things we do when all of the work is done. Anyway, we've got someone coming around, as I said earlier, to court for the bathroom, so it's for the same guy from the same company, but he's just having a look at this, the wall, the structural wall, just to see if it's possible, if we can actually remove it or if we have to keep it in part. So he's gonna have a look in the loft and give us a quote, and then we can have like a rough estimate from a couple of other people as well, just so we can kind of figure out where we are and what is gonna be realistic in terms of our budget. So yeah, but all in all, a really, really lovely day. Good morning, everyone. We're in Zara's car at the moment. I cut my vlog yesterday and then I can't even remember. I don't think, no, so this is it. So basically, we started making dinner. I'm just updating this because we're currently stuck in traffic. We're driving to the supermarket to get ingredients. So we started making dinner and obviously I said about, about someone coming to court for the bathroom. We ended up having this guy just having such nice, wasn't he lovely? He was so lovely. Literally the nicest guy, so basically, he was just telling us about how he used to live in, thank you, he used to live in the area, how he knows the area that we've moved to really well, and was just talking about how he essentially developed a property 
very similar to the one we live in and what he did to it. And it was just so, so nice to get like the, it's almost like the seal of approval to be like, what you guys want to do is feasible, doable, and also, I know feasible and doable are kind of the same way, but also would look nice and kind of just confirm to us that we aren't crazy with our ideas and they're very realistic. So he's going to quote for that accordingly. We also asked him about some electric works for the living room. So we need to get a bit of a rewire done for our wall sconces in between the alcove unit and also potentially put a plug on the wall for the TV to chase all that in to make it look nicer. So yeah, but he ended up being in our house for about an hour and a half because we were just talking so much just about life and just genuinely, I hope the quotes are manageable. I know you're supposed to get multiple quotes, but we kind of know ballpark figures, and I don't think he's gonna take them in. And we sort of know this. Yeah, like he said, you know, if you want to do a roof, it's gonna be X amount of money, and it was kind of what we heard online and from people who've done it, so. Really nice guy, really positive experience, but having then, <laughs> we basically started dinner at like, what, 6.45? I think yeah. he came at like quarter seven, and came after work, bless him. And then by the time we finished, it was like nearly nine o'clock, so we had dinner really late. Then we watched The Gentleman. Then I fell asleep. I was like, gone. Woke up this morning, gone to the gym. And now we're going to go to Waitrose because I'm shooting some more um, lower price content using their new lower price products. So Zara's driving me in her little Fiat to Waitrose to get some ingredients. And then I'm off for a meeting in town with the Waitrose team. So it's a very lovely positive day the weather is warm what are we currently sat our temperature was 13, 13 degrees, degrees guys it feels warm i think that's because we've just thrown ourselves around yeah the gym. i'm not putting zara on camera because she said put me on camera and i will honestly remove no, i will remove your head it will be removed from the car <laughs> It's Easter heaven in Waitrose. I'm getting Zara one of these eggs. But well, it's not an egg. It's a lint gold body, but it's salted caramel. See? Scan it. That's for you. You will also get something else with that too. Look, they've even got the little mini ones as well. I love lint bunnies. They remind me of my nana. She always used to get me them. My nana And did you keep the little ribbon necklaces as dangle Christmas decorations? They are for me. Oh. For me, that is just Easter. I adore them so much, and they're on special. Anyway, let's get all the ingredients and bits and bobs. Don't that get hurt. Oh yeah, keep it out. I had a couple of messages about the lasagna soup. It was a recipe Zara found online, and um, we kind of like changed it up a little bit. And more chocolate. I love Easter chocolate. So yeah, but I'm creating it for a recipe, and also some lemon possets for um, Instagram. So they'll be up very soon. So you just grab some caster sugar, and, and that's it, guys. This Easter egg, if you've never tried it, you have to try it. This hidden truffles. It's blonde chocolate, so it tastes like caramac. It's so delicious, honestly. God, it looks like they've had a right old rummage in here. Everyone's been enjoying it. <gasps> oh. Right, Zara, choose your egg. Well, initially, I wanted this one, but now you've just bought me a lint bunny. I don't want that. Oh, no, do it. No, okay. Oh, Zara, don't be silly. Just get that one. No, no, no. What about it's just a classic salted caramel lindor? You're getting assortment here. You get no, mint. Please. What about this one? Like Galaxy Ripple. No, we don't like cheap chocolate. Right. Okay. Just this one. Do you not want this one? This blonde chocolate one? No. Do I need the white chocolate one? Zara has decided. Lindor. She's gone for a Lindor. So not salted caramel. Zara's already got me my egg. I asked for, um, well, I would have loved this one personally. You didn't ask me for that though. You asked me. No, I said a cream egg. I've never, I'll show you them. I've never had a white cream egg before. Here we are. Let me know if you've ever had these. Look, they're cream eggs. I love cream eggs, but they're white. That's an assortment. White, caramel, and classic. Oh my gosh, we'll put this aside, because I'll get you guys a separate thing. Oh no, don't be silly. No, it's enough, no, it's enough chocolate. It's enough chocolate. Okay, I'm all dressed. Sorry I'm crouching down. Basically, we haven't popped anything on the walls yet. <laughs> so the mirror when I stand up, I lose my head, which is great. I'm crouching down. Fully dressed. It's actually such a beautiful day today. The sun. The sun is just starting to come out. Look at that. My bedroom gets the most amazing light as well. The little light beams coming through. Just saying it guys, spring feels like it's in the air. It is lovely. Right. I've got I've got to get on the tube now. And I'll see you in town. Oh, also Kate McCabe just messaged me and said she's in town as well. She's had a meeting this morning, so I'm gonna grab some coffee with her as well, which is gonna be so nice. Look 
to rhyme with. Hello. Hello. We have just been sat chatting away like we always do. We're in the Aperol Bar, which is uh, well, Liverpool Street. Oh, I don't know. Oh, do you know, this is my third coffee of the day and I still feel really tired. <laughs> I think it's just a constant feeling, although spring is in the air. It's warm, isn't it? And it is, I think, change of season. Apparently it's like the last fraction of winter and you're just getting all of your like, oof, out, ready for... And then you bring the good in and then yeah. you're happy and healthy. Like a butterfly. I'm in my chrysalis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It looks lovely in the floor. What's this? I'm, I'm doing this. Cocoon? Is this me coming out of my bus? There you go. You can spread your wings. <laughs> Give it a flap. <laughs> We're in the uh, flap, flap. We're in the Aperol bar. It's really lovely. It's literally just in Italy. And um, when the sun is shining on a really hot day, they take these canopies off. And um, yeah, you just get the lovely it's sun. Lovely here, oh, it's it? such a sun it's trap sun as well. Rising. Yeah, because the sun rises oh, really? and you just get it all day. But yeah. Kate's going to get a train in about when? Yeah. Really soon. I've got to go in about 20, no, 15 minutes. 15 minutes, 20 there minutes, we are. Yeah. So we've just been having a nice little catch up. Yeah. Um, you and Wood be here, but he's like, he's on holiday. He's never here, that chap, is he? He's always, he's always on adventures. He is, I'm very jealous. I'm very jealous. But um, yeah, I think he's in uh, Monaco, he said he's gone. So there we are. It's just us two having a good old catch up. It's so nice, Thanks honestly. Nope, and we said maybe next trip we do, we might take it international, might we? We yeah. might go abroad. Yeah. So obviously we kind of swap my arm. <laughs> <laughs> we always go to like um like English bricks, yeah. but maybe we could do like a cruise. Yeah, like a three day or a four day or something. Oh, yeah. It'd be really nice. And you wanna be up there. You wanna be so up for that. I mean he's all yeah. yeah. He'll get us the best deal. Yeah, he and will. you're so good at finding deals as well. Yeah. I bring nothing other than I can't even cook uh, if we do a cruise. You did all the cooking. I don't put it on a cruise, I can't do that. Bring all the fun. And the oh, joy. I don't know you just about bring that. the wonderful energy oh, that is you. It, honestly, <laughs> it's so nice to see you, Kate. And um, yeah, she's going to go back. And I'm going to go and um, I'm going to go meet Zara because she's in town. And uh, I think we're going to get some dinner or something. I haven't really talked about it. I don't know where she is. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> lovely to see you. Lovely to see you too. Yeah. Okay. Here's oh. an empty glass. There we are. And I am back home. I think when I take some. <laughs> Nice. Hello, Maggie. When I take time off from vlogging, like, I haven't really had that long off, but I kind of forget to pick my camera up a lot. Um, so I finished drinks with Kate, and then I met Zara, and we had a little wander around Liberty before dinner. We ended up going to the wrong restaurant for dinner, and then went to a new restaurant, same restaurant, and we had some Thai food with our friend Kate. He completely forgot to take my vlog camera out for that. So I'm doing really well. This is a nice beneficial vlog. But anyway, we're back home. Just had a little Amazon delivery. Nothing at all remotely exciting, but um, I've got some high five electrolyte sports drink tablets for my long runs. This is now panic stations, guys. We have, as of tomorrow, T minus one month till marathon. <laughs> I'm kind of really scared. Um, and I've ordered some more gels, some um, isotonic energy gels. These are the S. IS, which is the science and sport jobs. <sighs> Me? Scared? Never. Zara's just made some teas, so we've got a nice nighttime tea for me. These nighttime teas are delicious. They're the dragonfly tea, and Zara bought me them in Home Sense. They're really nice. Can and I look at Zara's new mark? mug. This is Primark. That honestly, I feel like that's you in a mug. That was pretty. Just very like it's no, I just. Subtle. How much was it? Like three pound. How would you describe that as me in a muck? Because I just give you loads of lovely adjectives there and I got nothing back. Just mean like it's nice and like bright and vibrant and like it's a happy mug. And I am. Um, bright and vibrant and happy. Oh, I love that. Three pounds. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last of Zara's bake. Oh my god. Mate, like honestly, this is so delicious. So this is Biscoff Rocky Road and Zara made this with her friend Brittany using the crumbs and doilies cookbook. Oh my, even the smell of it. Can I tell everyone what I'm making next? Do you want to show them? It's I this, making, it's a cookbook know. here. It's the Crumbs and Doilies one. Yeah. yeah. So this is, what's this? This is a caramel cornflake brownie. Oh my God. Like if you ever Look had cornflake cake as a kid, this just reminds me of that, but then the brownies underneath. Mm. This is the brownie. <gasps> so you've got to do the brownie first and then yes. so it's like two sets. It might take you a while. I know, but I'm also making Oh yeah, ma'am, 
Vam, Vam? God, sorry. Mam, if you're watching this, um, obviously you requested my carrot cake from me and me or Zara. Zara's gonna make you a carrot cake and we've got these. And, and I've even bought you some carrots, but I mean, he bought them, but I'll be making them. I got these in uh, Weird Trails today, so they're little fondant <laughs> carrots. So cute. So, um, yeah, when my mum and stepdad come next week, they're gonna be fueled with Zara's clear bix. So we can do a carrot cake. That's all I can provide, to be honest. I'm gonna wrap this vlog up, guys. I'm sorry, I feel like I've not actually showed anything of substance, but I thought it'd be better than not having a video to watch. So, sorry, but I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, I'm sending lots of love to you all, and I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.